April 22nd. It's about 4:35, 4:40 in the morning. Getting ready to head out to uh, to the field and see if we can get a, get ourselves a turkey. Uh, going to a spot where I've had birds close, had them work, never got them close enough to shoot, uh, especially with my bow. I am taking my bow out today. Uh, first day out for me in southeastern Minnesota for turkey hunting. We're going to see if we can punch my ticket today. Uh, taking my Matthews out back, shooting some blood sport arrows, and going to uh, combination of two different broadheads and depending on the depending on the situation that comes about. I'm hoping to lop a head off, but if I have to, I'll just shoot shoot at a body. We'll we'll see what happens, depending on how skittish the birds are. And we're two weekends into the right, the gun season in Minnesota as well, so birds could be a little skittish, it's possible. Um this spot doesn't get a lot of pressure, so hopefully they'll pretty they'll be pretty low key and um just need a time to come in range and hopefully I can get the job done and get a turkey in the freezer. So let's get to it. Can't can't shoot a bird from inside the shop, so let's get to it.
took you probably 10 yards, actually 15 yards, shot with my uh, guillotine broadhead essentially and went right over his head. Um, he didn't have a clue I was here, so loaded up another arrow and went with just a plain broadhead and shot him square. He ran off a little bit, dropped, laid there for a while, and then he ran into the woods. Um, I think I just heard him flop around. So, I'm gonna give him about five more minutes or so, and then I'm gonna go look for him. And see if I can find him. Whew, I got it all on camera too, that's the crazy part. Got it on the old tact cam. Oh, there's gonna be some good video. Boom, first turkey with a bow. able to get a turkey uh, about seven a little bit before seven o'clock uh, was about 645 that bird came in range and I'd said earlier that that I was uh, hoping hoping to cut the head off use a uh, Magnus broadhead I was hoping to use that because just looks like it'd be fun and I did get to use it but as you see, I ended up having to use a different broadhead as well. Uh, kind of missed on the first one. Mistake on my part. Didn't uh, didn't practice before and just went out there kind of cold. And that was probably a bad idea. You should always practice before you go out um, with with something like that. There, you know, those Magnus broadheads they catch a lot of wind. So, and I just might have miss miss shot. But my Muzzy Phantom was true and dropped the turkey he only only ran probably from where i shot him probably only ran 30 30 40 yards and uh just stopped there and was able to collect my first archery turkey and pretty excited about it i already got the bird cut up i had time to cut the bird up and uh get the fan and the legs in the freezer and just gonna make a nice turkey fan out of it and we're gonna have some I'm gonna probably smoke the drumsticks and then make some turkey jerky pretty excited for that so everything went really well I was pretty pretty excited and uh, and hey I even got it on film so that was probably the best part about the whole thing so be really excited when I get to go edit it so it's a very fun day uh, Man, nothing like going turkey hunting. That, that'll get your blood going. It's very exciting. Alrighty. Here you go.